Hi, welcome to all of you. In this video, we are about to discuss the planning of data collection procedures, how they are carried out to have an effective research work. Let us discuss them step by step manner to make it easier. Very first thing is the variables. What are the operational variables? How we are going to define them. Now, what type of variables we require? We have to make a list of them depending upon the type of algorithm, type of the procedure, and type of the application, and type of the population we are having in our work. We have to define those variables. Once the definition of variables is over, next, we have to make them a proper way. Very first, we can go with the surveys, like we can prepare some questionnaire. In the questionnaire, once again, we can have some thing like what type of questions we have to include or, and also what type of options we are going to give to take a survey analysis. Similarly, coming to observations, it is just like having some population with us and how their behavior, how their attitudes are there, we discuss about them as a part of observations in the variables. Once the variables are perfectly settled down, the next stage we go towards is, are they reliable and valid? Are they reliable? For the purpose of asking them reliable, it says that the, is that the variables provided there, are they reliable? That means, are they giving the consistent outputs throughout the entire research process as our entire research work? And in order to consider a valid here for the purpose of the variables are in the research of data collection, are they measurable ones? We have to think about it. Consistency and measurements, feasibility are the two important factors to say that particular data collection procedures we have defined here are real, reliable, and valid in nature. Once we fix that they are reliable and valid, we move towards the sampling procedures, how we can make it into groups or clusters in simple terms. Very first, we have to define what type of population it is. I have to fix how much of numbers we have to consider. Later, I have to go for a sampling procedure called probabilistic. And here it is purely a random in nature, means one procedure or one person in the population works with the another person in the other population, sorry, in the same population. Uh, it, they have the mutual action without any recall dividing here work means it will be random in nature. Whether can be moved towards non-probabilistic, we should be careful that the population that has been taken, they don't consider the chances here and we must avoid any bias that might happen. Means in the population, we have to verify that is sample each and every candidate or variable. That is the main thing we have to focus during the sampling procedure. Next, once the sampling is settled on, we go towards action. What are the things we have achieved till these three stages? We have to act on them, we have to verify them, and if required, we have to repeat the same procedures until we find that the data collected in our research work has been a perfect or at least is up to the mark of our research work such that we can say that the research process or the research design or the research methods are going to give us the optimal solutions for the research questions that have been set in our research work. This is how we can plan a data collection process. Hope you understood this video and I request you to kindly go through this channel and like our videos and subscribe our channel for encouraging us to prepare more videos and also you can give us suggestions.